Hello Libras, how are you today? This is Lori coming to you from your Empress Energy. I am going to go ahead and pull two cards from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck like I have been doing. I think next week I may switch it up again um, as to what cards I'm using at the beginning. I have other Oracle cards, so we'll see. But for now I'm enjoying this. So all decks have been pre-shuffled as you probably already know. I'm just going to give these a quick shuffle, give them a quick cut, see if we can get some new um, spirit animals out here. We seem to get a lot of repeats. Hummingbird spirit. Awesome. Be here now. Card 34. And moth spirit. Surrender now. Card 39. I think, I'm not sure if either one has come out before, but we will see. Let's go ahead and roll the Zodiac die to see what, what energies might be in the room with us. I have uh, ink on my finger because I've was uh, i been drawing again, painting. Okay, we have Capricorn, Pisces, there you are, Libra, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Scorpio energy in the room today. Or these may be the signs that you are personally dealing with. Okay. Here are the number die. We've got three on top, one, two, 11. So that's one, one, one. And then we have six and 10. And then on this die, we have 20 on top with two and 14, 12, 10, eight, 16 and six, 17 and three. And of course you can always rewind if you missed that. I hope everyone is doing well and that you've had an awesome week. Welcome back to the channel if you are a returning subscriber. I appreciate you more than you will ever know. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. And I hope you find value here and that you come back. So thank you to you too for being here today. Um, let's see. I read the cards both. Um, traditionally and intuitively, this is my own personal spread. I've been using it um, since I started, pretty much since I started recording on YouTube. I do like um, the way it works for me. And uh, so and I, I read what the cards have always said traditionally, and then I get the uh, messages from the powers that be around me, my guardian angels, um, ancestors, your energy, you know, your ancestors, your guiding angel, guard, guide, whoa, excuse me, rewind, um, any entities, energies, there we go, energies, no entities, okay, energies that come into the room, I will accept their message as long as it's for the good of, the, good of all. There we go. I'm about to drop 20 cards here. Don't want to do that. Do not want to do that. Now, if you haven't done so, maybe um, if you haven't noticed, there are new daily messages coming out. So we've got the hidden or uh, hidden truth messages. We've got the mermaid messages, star seed, whispers of love, angel answers, and I am doing an astrology um, reading once a week too. So I hope that you guys enjoy that or part of that. All of it may not be for you, but at least you're getting something else once a week. If you find only one other thing that you enjoy, all right. So. What's new in your world, Libras? Everything all nice and even and balanced, just the way you like it? <laughs> How's the weather where you're at? Hopefully spring is coming on strong. And we'll, oh, look at that, Queen of Cups. Awesome. Yeah, look at all the swords here too, my Libras. What do you, what do you, uh, Defending yourself from, huh? Okay. We got some great cards here. Okay. So, on the bottom of the deck, I'm going to put it over here today. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Hierophant. Two of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. The Chariot. Two of Wands. Seven of Swords. 
Queen of Cups and Strength. I only read those out for the people that really, like maybe you are a tarot reader and you want to read the cards for yourself. That's absolutely fine. Some people just like to know. And I know these cards are difficult to um, see clearly. I have ordered the traditional um, Rider weight. No, nope, nope. Scratch it. The um, a different deck that's much easier to see. We'll just go with that. Okay, so let me take a look here and see what your overall message might be. Ah, I see two twos here, first of all. And I see the strength and the chariot over each other, which would suggest that there's going to be some swift moving action that may require some strength on your part, some stamina. Um, yeah. Like, just hang on, Libra. This is going to be fast and furious. And you're just going to have to ride the, t ride the wave, okay? It won't last forever, but it's going to take a little bit of strength for you to get through it. Okay, we do have unity and harmony here. And then right behind that, the world, the moon, a decision, the lovers. Why not? I mean, two of cups and the lovers, you know in the same uh, justice, rest, there's the high priestess, celebrations, yeah, you're heading for a really good time, so if this becomes turbulent in any way, shape, or form, do not stress, okay, because it will be clearing out pretty quickly, and it looks to me like you may know what's coming, and that you have been trying to get yourself up to uh, speed, getting yourself educated on which way to go. You're trying to get the information, okay? Because you're gonna have a path to choose. And here you're feeling like you don't have enough information. So you are definitely um, educating yourself on what is the right path for you, okay? You are also pretty secure in your uh, Finances right now, you are weaving a nice web here, paying attention to the details, um, gathering up your pentacles, okay? No rash decisions here. Everything is meticulous. Very well thought out. You are a little bit stressed about this, of course. Anytime we go to spend a large sum of money, that can happen to us. And that is what I'm getting is that Somebody here is about to make an investment in something. And the overall energies look fantastic. I mean, really, really good. I mean, balance, unity, harmony, feeling right with the world. Two of Cups can also suggest um, a partnership working with someone else. It could be multiple people, but it usually just means really a con um I was going to say a conglomeration of energies, but that's not what I'm trying to say. Um, a melding. See how they're intertwined? That's what I'm trying to say. Meshing, meshing, blending, blending. That's what I'm trying to come up with. You are blending your knowledge with somebody else's for the best outcome here. Okay, so you have a certain skill set, Libras. And somebody else that you're going to be working with has a certain skill set. And you're going to be blending those together and things are going to work out beautifully for you. I mean, really, really nice. Let's go ahead and just see if there's anything that we can clarify here. Okay, get a little bit uh, more information. I'm going to use the uh, steampunk deck. We got, oh, look at that. <laughs> Two of Cups, Two of Cups. I'm going to say that they're they're thinking that this is a good partnership here, okay? That things will, I mean, look at this, yin and yang right there, okay? It's saying that you're blending your talents together, and there's the world on the bottom, or Wheel of Fortune. That's luck turning in your favor. New beginnings, okay? Yes. Um, better days are ahead. The sun, absolutely. <laughs> There's the strength card again. It's going to take a little bit. And there was the two of wands. Look at this, two of wands, two of wands. And the chariot, 
and the chariot. Oh my gosh, we have a king of wands here. Okay, so that's going to be your big player energy. That you've got um, the energies can be reversed. Okay, so male female roles in here can be reversed. This queen could be a king or a male. I'm sorry, it's still the queen of cups, but it could be a male uh, that this energy is representing. Um, Libra, <laughs> with all the twos, that's that's you representing yourself right there. You've got the Five of Wands and the King of Swords. Okay, so you're learning. This is what they're do doing. They're sparring in order to gain knowledge, okay? The King of Swords, he's got the knowledge. He, he still continues to gain knowledge, though, okay? And right here, he's writing down in his book everything that he needs to know about whatever he's about to do. Okay, so he's keeping track of things. That's going to be very, very, very important for some of you. If you are starting a new venture that involves money, keep track of everything. Keep all of your receipts. Have a book, a notebook. That's all it takes, a notebook. And every time you spend money, you keep track of it. The biggest thing about this is that it helps you to see where your money is going. And if you're pricing your product high enough, to get your money back and make money. We don't want to do what we're doing just so we can break even, okay? So that's very important for some of you. But yes, this is, again, Hierophant mode. This is legal stuff, too. Hierophant represents um, legal matters as far as um, documents, licenses. This is who you would go to to get your licenses. Um, Permits, zoning ordinances, if that's a thing. But yeah, so, <laughs> I mean, I think this is fantastic. This is like really great here. And on the bottom of the deck, I just picked it up, is the Empress. Seven of Pentacles, you are considering your life, your money. What can you do? What do you not want to take a chance on? King of Pentacles, he speaks of knowing his money. Okay, the King of Swords is intelligent. He keeps track of everything. He communicates with everyone around him. King of Pentacles is the money man. Okay, Nine of Wands. Yeah, oh, look at that. Emperor and Empress again. Okay, he's worth four kings and more. Okay, High Priestess, use your intuition. And there's your Ace of Cup coming up. Temperance. And there's all the communication that you need. All right, so this is fantastic. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading right here. Um, my Libras. Yes, my Libras. Okay. Let's see if the Seven of Swords is what I thought it was. So can we get clarification on that, please? A little bit of stress from a new endeavor, maybe. Making sure that you've got all aspects covered that nobody else can pull anything on you. Because these swords are stuck in the stone. He's the only one with a, a, a sword that can be used against anyone. Okay. Plus he's got the white swan here. And white um, signifies um, purity, goodness. So y you've got the protection of the divine right there. Okay. So yeah. Let's see if there's any clarification on the seven of swords, please. Any clarification on this for the Seven of Swords? I mean, obviously, the Two of Wands is all about have, picking the right path for you. And I think for some of you, it's just a choice between you're going in the same. The end result will be the same. You just need to decide how to get there. Okay, whoops. That's three cards, but we will take them. Three of Pentacles, three cards, three of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so you've got a very in inspired idea right now. You are feeling extremely creative. You've got a desire to move on. I will say that this is a brand new beginning. The Divine is on your side saying, yes, whatever your idea is, go for it. Do not let um, any past stress get to you look at this look at all these swords libra these represent you and all the trials and tribulations that you've been through okay now put those aside 
be willing to work again because when you put this aside, you have all the knowledge from all of your past history to use to your benefit in this partnership, okay? And you, I mean, Three of Pentacles um, talks about being recognized for your hard work, but you're not doing it alone, okay? This is not a go-alone thing. So you're doing this with somebody else. You are being, you will be elevated, okay, in your environment, uh, amongst your friends, um, whoever you are dealing with with this, you will be elevated, okay? So this right here just tells me that, and this too, that you have divine intervention, that your guardian angels will keep an eye out for you, okay? Now, the other thing about divine intervention, I hope we all realize that this, realize this at this point, divine intervention means it happens in divine timing, okay? So if the, it, this may um, take some time to get off the road, or off the ground, off the road, what the heck is that? Off the ground. But once it takes off, once you start moving forward, you're, it's going to be very, very fast moving. And it is going to take some stamina, okay? It's going to take you believing in yourself to get through this. On the bottom of the deck is the Six of Wands, a personal victory, okay? The people around you will rally. They're going to rally to support you because they want to see you succeed. You deserve this. You can't get all up in your head, though. When you feel that way, turn to your friends. Turn to those that you know support you. Okay? All right. Let's clarify. Or Let's get a final outcome. I'm sorry. Final outcome from the mini miniature rider weight deck um yeah so this is beautiful energy i see entrepreneurship here i see people starting new jobs um some of you starting new jobs or careers may have choices in which field to go in okay either way the outcome is going to end up at the same result okay very fast paced moving forward, and I do believe that it's going to spark your creativity. If you have questions about this, they are going to be clarified, okay? So don't worry about that. I think once you make your decision, or in order to make a decision, questions will be answered, okay? If you, I'm hearing, ask your friends, ask your friends. If somebody you know has been down this road career-wise, okay, if they have a job similar to what you're considering taking, ask them their opinion about how long it took to get to a, a place of comfort, okay? Did they continue to feel inspired, I'm hearing, okay? Was it worth the outcome? Are they still doing it? Maybe they aren't doing it anymore. Find out why they decided not to do it. People stop doing things for a lot of different reasons, and their reason for stopping may not bother you at all. That may be something that you'd be like, "Oh, it's a challenge. Yeah, I'm gonna. Con I, I would never give up because of that." Okay, so yeah, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, my Libra friends. Okay, let's see here. What else can we get? Well, we got the Magician and the Page of Cups, an inspired idea that you can create. You can take it to the next level because you've got every resource that you need at your fingertips. And you can manifest this into being, okay? Because you do have everything that you need to make this happen. And that goes right there, I'm being told. And on the bottom, here you are, Libra justice for all, but especially for you in this situation. This is something, you have tried things in the past, I think. I'm, I'm really strongly hearing that you've tried other endeavors in the past. I think this came up in last week's reading. It could have been somebody else's. That you've tried or wanted to try to start your own business or something you wanted to start something new and people just kept kept saying no 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 you can't do that it costs too much money you don't have enough knowledge 
it's too much work. No, 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 no. And you almost always gave up on it. Okay. Or you have always given up on it, but you've never given up on the idea. And I think that's what's happening is it's coming back around and there is justice for you. Okay. This means a fresh start. Clarity, her sword cuts through all the baloney. She's got the scales in her hand, which represents the balance that you Libras love so much. Okay. And you're going to get it. You are going to have a restoration of your, I feel, a rebalancing of your soul is what I just heard. You are going to feel whole again. You are going to feel like that missing piece of you and your life has just shown up from this idea, from the page, okay, from the page of cups, this idea. I mean, he's got a fish in a cup. That's not normal, and I, I'm pretty sure that the fish is talking to him, okay? So this is a creative spark. This is an idea. Um, your complete imagination bringing this forward, how you can make this happen. And right behind that justice is a wish fulfillment, okay? So once you feel balanced again, my labor friends, um, it's going to happen for you. It's going to happen for you. I want to just balance, okay? You're going to put your burdens down and be able to build whatever you want to. And there's the fool. Okay, there's the fool with the devil energy. That is awesome, actually. That's your upcoming, I'd say, in a month or so. All right. I'm hearing draw one more time. Okay, all right. Somebody's got something else to say or somebody in, you know, one of you Libras has something you want clarified more. Who is this King Queen of Cups? She could be a benefactor. She could be a generous benefactor. Somebody stepping in to maybe donate some money to get your idea off the ground. A Kickstarter program, but this feels like an individual. Okay, this really does feel like... Let's clarify the Queen of Cups, please. Whoa, three more cards. Okay. You fought your battles. You have fought your battles. You've been up and down about things, in and out about things. And the Divine is trying to tell you that you can have a brand new, fresh start in all aspects of your life. It does. It's not one fountain here. There are five fountains here. So... All aspects of your life can be changed and probably will be when you proceed forward with this endeavor, okay? Now, that didn't clarify the Queen of Cups for me, but I am going to put that there. On the bottom, we have the King of Cups. So, a, a partnership, okay? Definitely a partnership. I, I see this Queen of Cups. You've had... Okay, you're going to have options, okay? And that that's going to take strength, too, okay? On the bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. Um, Queen of Cups, please. Let's clarify the Queen of Cups. In reverse, you don't... You Somebody wants to defend you. Normally, this card represents you defending yourself, okay? This shows me that somebody, the Queen of Cups, wants to come to your defense, your rescue, get you started, um, show you that you don't have to go it alone, okay? Yep, there you go, three of cups. Celebrations, okay? Whoa, the king of cups just came out on his own, and he did kind of come out in reverse, so I don't know what to do with him, but I'm going to leave him here on the below it and see if we can clarify some of the choices that that came out upright. It's just, I can't get my fingers going here. Okay, I'm just going to put this up here because I don't know what to do with Oh, I got four cards here. Five cards. Three of Pentacles, teamwork. Being in a stalemate. There's that Empress again, okay? Um, wow. Page of Swords and Heartbreak. Yeah, this all feels like the past, okay? This all feels like you were stuck for years in hangman's mode, just watching the world go by, secretly suffering a heartbreak because you weren't doing anything that made you feel... I don't want to 
to say important. That's not what I'm looking for. That satisfied your soul. Okay, you weren't doing what satisfied your soul. You were watching everybody else live their lives, and you're, you're stuck here feeling like crummy and just, ugh. But you are going to take another chance, okay? You are going to get into a team effort here, all right? Oh. And the Empress, she embodies um, all four queens, fertility, fresh new beginnings, the ability to produce magic right from herself. She can create human life, okay? I mean, she is the ultimate creator besides the magician, and you have the magician right here. So those two are power, power couple. Now, I am going to say that I got for some of you this King of Cups, especially in the reverse. Usually the King of Cups is a jovial guy, wants to, you know, laugh and have fun, you know, shares his emotions with you, but he's in reverse. And what I heard after I started looking at the other cards was this person drains me. This person just, just drains me. What happens when you turn a cup upside down? Everything just pours out of it. Okay? I think this cup has been empty for a while. I, I'm not sure who this king is. I have no idea. Um, king of Pentacles, though, is on the bottom of the deck. Stability. Um, very stable. Okay? Money-oriented. Um, very capable. I mean, he's he's got everything. I mean, he's out in nature. He's got ivy growing over him. That's how stable he is. He doesn't move. He doesn't budge, okay? Yet he's got a huge castle big back here, bigger than I've seen in most of the other cards where a castle is present. Usually there's like two spires and or, you know, two little things out there for a castle. He's got the whole castle. And then here's the emperor again. And we got the Queen of Cups again. We've got the feelings um, of resurrecting something from the past, meeting the goal. We, you're there. You're going, you're heading for sweet success, my Libra friends. Oh my gosh. Another beautiful reading. Whoops, I just knocked everything out of place here. Fantastic. I am extremely happy for you guys. I mean, this is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, I'm going to move on to the die at this point. And if you're new to my channel, I uh, roll the die five times and then I hold it up like this so that you can take a screenshot or write the letters down as quickly as possible. If you miss anything, just rewind the uh, video. All right, and the first roll is an I. Second roll. That didn't want to stop. G. Third roll is a K. Four is a Q, but I'm going to give you an extra roll because that actually rolled into the deck. So I'll give you one more at the end. Five is an X. And your bonus roll is a J, which J has come up with in almost every single reading. Okay, there's your letter die. Let me go ahead and read for you from the uh, Spirit Animal Oracle book here, card 39. I can't remember if Mouth Spirit has come out before. I'll know as soon as I start reading it, though says, surrender now. Moth Spirit asks, what is guiding you right now? Are you in alignment with Spirit or pursuing something or someone with so much tenacity that it has become a compulsion or maybe an addiction? Are you so intoxicated by a potential relationship or opportunity that you can't think straight? <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> Definitely. Hard work and dedication are virtues and... Love, of course, is a beautiful thing. 
However, when Moth Spirit appears, it is time to consider if you have gone over the edge in a relentless pursuit. Workaholism, overeating, perfectionism. That's what I'm hearing here. You're worrying too much about perfectionism. Or addiction to certainty or even a person may be your current vice. The form of your addiction does not matter so much as awareness of the consequences of remaining persistent when moderation is needed. Let go of your excessive energy by channeling it in more than one direction. The fire burns hot and you do not want to be engulfed by your passion to the exclusion of all the other pursuits that matter to you. Okay, so what I'm hearing here, and I'm not done with this message yet, is you are really inspired by this new idea, okay? However, I, I kept, when I was reading this, for some of you, it is definitely trying to make sure that all the details are down pat. Like all the I's dotted and all the T's crossed. That is a great way to be. However, to get a creative process off the, any process, out of the gate, you have to start. Okay? So you're going to have to make that decision back here. Okay? And you, this sword is a new beginning, but it's telling you you have the information that you need to make that decision. So go ahead and move forward. Go ahead and do it. Okay? You can always change directions later on down the road. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, I'm going to continue back here. Now is the time for surrender and radical acceptance so that your drive does not cause you to flee or to fight. Spirit wants you to release your need for certainty and control so that you can relax into a more balanced way of using your mouth spirit energy. Banish the shoulds and musts that, so that you can enjoy what is so that you can enjoy what is as you allow for what might be. Okay, that was a mouthful. But again, crossing the T's, dotting the I's, and you need the balance, Libras. You need to feel balanced, okay? So bring that balance back in. You're the magician. Bring it back in. You can always maintain your balance. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, my throat just suddenly, it's like, it's really tight. And it feels like there's just not, like I can't talk. Your protection message from Moth Spirit says, Moth Spirit can be intense and honesty about your own compulsive tendencies is needed right now. It is too easy to switch from one addiction to another, distracting yourself from the discomfort or of uncertainty and the thoughts and emotions that arise when you aren't single-mindedly pursuing a goal. Moth Spirit calls to you to practice moderation in all things and recognize when you and recognize when you are headed toward the light but are really heading into a fire that will cause burnout. The word think is in the middle there. I'm sorry. I've got to take that out so I don't stumble over that again. Okay. So it says, Mouth Spirit calls to you to practice moderation in all things and recognize when you are headed toward the light but are really heading into, when you think you are headed toward the light but are really heading into a fire that will cause burnout. Okay, I'll fix that later. Why why are you so resistant to letting up? Could you be avoiding difficult emotions you need to feel and release? Most likely those emotions are from the past, okay? Where you wanted to do things and people naysayed. Don't let those things come into play anymore. Now is a time to do a fearless inventory so that your addictive tendencies can be toned down and rechanneled into enthusiastic activity in moderation. You are not a machine. Listen to Moth Spirit's message that a change is needed to support your well-being. Don't overdo it is what I'm hearing there. Don't overthink it. Don't overspend it. Just don't. Okay, just take time. 
maybe down t down deep you know you have become too attached to something and someone let go of your need to control the outcome and allow yourself to remember the many ways that you want to channel your energy to relationships to work to giving to others to self-care and to all the other pursuits that you value that was a good card i like that and yes i have read that before but i don't remember stumbling upon that think Let's read Hummingbird Spirit here, card 34. Oh, went past it, sorry. Okay. And by the way, 3 and 9 is 12, which um, is the card number 3. <laughs> Celebrations, boy. <laughs> of course, if you boil that down to three and that down to seven, we have ten, which is you reached a goal line and now you're starting fresh and new and exciting things, okay? Okay, so Hummingbird Spirit says, be here now. The hummingbird's wings beat so swiftly it can hover in seeming stillness as it drinks deeply from a flower. Hummingbird spirit comes to remind you that the beauty and sweetness of life is in the eternal now, the timeless present. Here and now you are becoming the person you wish to be to have the experiences you wish to have. Focus your energy on the flower before you for what you desire is being provided. Yes, there are blossoms everywhere the choices can be dazzling. Too many choices. Hummingbird Spirit's message is that you have no need to go about it. About You have no need to go about in search of something better. For all that you require and desire is before you. You will know this as you become still. Feeling your connection to spirit who loves you unconditionally and will always provide for you. Okay, so yes, here were the many options that you're going to pre be presented with. It's going to require some strength to make the right choice, but don't overthink it because you've got the Empress um, creativity balance. Um, she is the epitome of having total control over self. Okay. She's loving and caring. She's receiving of love. She's giving of love. Yes. Okay. And you have all the knowledge you need within you, plus all the knowledge that you, you've gathered. Okay. You've studied. You've researched. Um, the universe is telling you that there is clear communication about this situation coming in. And I just got that this Queen of Cups is definitely some sort of benefactor. Somebody is going to be... Um, I'm, I heard bank rolling. <laughs> For some of you, it may be a huge investment, okay? And and this Queen of Cups, male or female, um, it's just energy, is is going to help you get your business started. And the Queen of Cups is a very caring um, queen, okay? She is the emotional queen. She is the one who does everything from her heart okay so she does things with complete and utter love at the base of everything that she does and you will end up celebrating okay let's see what your protection message from humming spirit hummingbird spirit says nectar is everywhere but hummingbird spirit is here to remind you that flying from flower to flower and being all over the place wastes such precious energy. Be still. Be here now, in the present moment, enjoying the sweetness and sustenance available to you. Focus on one flower today, just one. Nectar is there for you. The hummingbird spirit's message is that wherever you put your attention, there your energy flows. Are you focused on the sweetness or on finding something better somewhere else? Always yearning and feeling that life is not enough and you are not enough. Also just trying to find, cross the T's and dot the I's, okay? All you seek is right here, right now. 
Appreciate the present and you will see that you are where you need to be and enjoying what you are entitled to enjoy in this timeless and perfect moment. That is beautiful. And I hope that really encourages some of my Libra friends here. All of you, all of you. I hope it encourages all of you. Anyways, until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.